Hello everyone, my name is Destin Lint and welcome back to episode 88 of my Dungeon of the Endless Let's Play uh, Alpha version 0.6.10 Let's get started here So, last episode we had quite a few good things going for us We have a bunch of resources saved up And we just found a name already A blue t-shirt uh, It was him that had the t-shirt, eh? Um, like, may as well give him the blue t-shirt. Like, why not? Better stats and no more... Not any more uh, repercussions to it, I should say. Let's uh, build ourselves a industry generator right away. And everyone else can make their way back into here. And let's open up... Uh, hmm. Let's open up this door. See what's behind it. You know what? Another room. I definitely do not mind being in. Other than okay, took care of those guys. And did they change some of the uh, visual effects again? Because there's some that I really don't just don't recognize, which I would think I would if I knew them. Um, but I guess not. Interestingly enough, uh, you two can make your way into here and um, maybe you can open up this door next. Why not? And you know what? I am perfectly fine with this room as well. Uh, actually, you know what? That actually is kind of ideal. We'll see what we... Ooh, right. I kind of completely forgot about our options here. Auto Dock Shard Spore would be amazing. Land Module would be even more amazing so that way we don't lose modules. So I think I'm gonna have to go with Land Module to start off with. Like, that's just something I kind of have to do. And now we're at, where do I go? I kind of want to go up here just because I'm gonna do something like that. And this, and then... A bunch of claymores. One, two, three. Yep. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. And then we'll go up here. And you know what? Another excellent room. I could very well see myself uh, using this for the shop. And we find the tool belt. Um, what does that do? Unlocks repair and five wit. And that is a interesting proposition. May as well put that on uh, Hickenshaw because he'll be one of my other operators eventually. Once I have a enough dust to light up another room to put another module in. For the time being though, not ideal. Ooh, and that is a kamikaze. Not a huge fan of the kamikazes, but between the three claymores and everything else, we should be more than okay. Yep, there we go. And once again, I have to remember, I have to keep an eye out for those guys that explode, or stay in the room when waves spawn. That's something that I definitely have to keep in mind. Go into here, and we find nothing in there. Oh, enemy waves spawning in. Okay. Go over here to find another... Oh, I'm such an idiot. First of all, go into here to check to see... Okay, so there's none of those guys that, uh... Stay in the room by the looks of things, so that's good for us. And I really need to research something again next time that comes around. Otherwise, that is just a waste of, uh... Rooms that I could be using for that. And let's go over into here. You can stay in there for the time being. And what can we get? Nope, oh, I thought I clicked on it. We could get Tactical Head 1. Let's go for it. And still don't have enough dust to light up another room quite yet, which is unfortunate, not gonna lie. But uh, I'm sure our time will come soon enough. We find Gork. I'm sorry, but we're gonna have to ignore you for the time being. Although that did also give us four dust. That feels pretty good. And that's the end of the road over here. With a few more mobs. Um, bunch of waves spawning in. 
Okay, first of all, uh, we should probably just have everyone head on over here before we get before Hickenshaw gets too swarmed. Because everything else that's coming in, I can handle with a, a lot of ease. Ooh, but that is a lot of the golems. Okay, but that's fine. Cork is still doing his thing up there, and we did get enough dust to light up another room, so I will go down here and see what's in there, at the very least. And you know, it's kind of a relief knowing that that was the end for up here, because I can start lighting up over here and make this a access area for a bunch of modules. But for the time being, no such luck. We'll just have to continue to do this and open up this door to find not an ideal room. Definitely not an ideal room. By any stretch of the means. Because now I'm probably going to have to go in this direction. Unless I want to put things there. Uh, industry generator 4. Why not? And do I dare open up this way or do I keep going down? Let's go down. Probably gonna regret this, but we'll see. Why can't I place that? Okay. I was concerned. I couldn't place it anything there for a second, and I thought I was doing something terribly wrong. But, no, I was not. This is another good room for us. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, what do we do with that information? Did he just kill something all by himself? So that seems pretty impressive. And I'm going to go exploring once... Okay, never mind. Everything's fine. I don't need to go exploring. But... What I do want to do is first of all send all of you amazing people in those directions. And this could screw me over a little bit. But I'm going to take the risk of opening this up and seeing what's inside of it. And we get dust. Okay, that is exactly what I was hoping to get. And, um... Yeah, let's do a little something like that. I don't want to be placing things in here quite yet, if necessary. So what I will do is leave things as they are, and open up this door, and still not a dead end, thank goodness, and I really should be leveling people up, like level up, level up, did they get any new skills? I don't think they did, just lost that, which, you know, is useful. We find another item, that's pretty beneficial. You can go into here. You can make your way into here. And then you'll have to make your way up in a moment. We get the first aid kit. Oh, that, I remember that being something that I liked a whole lot. Um, the question is who do I put that on? Because that gives HP regen and placebo, which is super useful. Um, that just gives them repair and wit. I don't need him to have wit, so you can have a uh, placebo instead. I think that's much more beneficial, and you're going to make your way up there. I don't know what hurt that one guy, but you know what, I'm not going to complain. And I should probably send everyone up here, because I don't think there's anything else coming in that one direction. And yeah, that's it. For that, is Gork still alive? Gork is still alive. That feels pretty good. You can go back up there, there, and we will also go down here to see what it lies beyond the darkness for us, and we find more branching paths. You know what? Oh, and we get more industry. And no enemy wave spawned. That's always uh, a nice relief. Whenever you don't have to have enemies spawn 
on your butt like that. So you're gonna make your way into there, you're gonna make your way into there, and you are gonna make your way down here. And these guys are still doing fine. Still doing fine, still doing fine. Still doing fine. Oh, and that's the end of the wave, actually. Okay, so let's actually send everyone down here to just repair that stuff real quick, and then I'll send everyone back to their regular rooms. So you can go all the way up here. You can go into here, here, and then we will continue on our way down over here. Make sure everyone is researching something that they are able to, which they are. Excellent. That's a dead end. Not too sure how I feel about that. We'll see in a moment. And two waves spawning down here. That's also not great, but we have... Ooh, actually, I think I should be okay with only one person defending in there, so I might do a little something like this. I like the sound of that a lot more. Okay. Ooh, are there... Okay. Oh. And there we go. That's the end of the wave. Okay. That feels significantly better. Is he on a major module? He is, in fact, on a major module. That is a interesting to interesting thing to note. Um, what do I want to do now? I should start placing some more of these modules down. Like I think I might place the land module in here. I kind of want to place the tactical hut up here. I like the sound of that a lot. And then I'll place a few more claymores in here. Like why not? Just to keep things well defended, and ooh, I'm using up a lot of industry really fast, but, you know, it's a small price to pay. And we will continue down this way for the time being. Pretty soon I won't even have to worry about that top route, and I'll just have to worry about enemies swarming me from down here. And luckily that continues as well. Ooh, I should be... Interestingly enough, it didn't say that enemy waves spawned. Or, not spawned, but... Oh, well, never mind, it did say hustles found again. Just not in its normal fashion. Oh, dear lord, okay. Um... You should be fine there, and technically four waves coming here. Okay, so, yeah. I think that's how I'm gonna split things up. I like the sound of splitting things up like that. And actually, you can make your way into there. So they do still go after modules, they're just a little bit stronger? If it doesn't hurt you, makes you stronger. Uh, live a little brighter. Okay, and that's the end of that wave. Excellent. We'll just send everyone here. Maybe Max the King can go up here. And those guys can do those repairs. He can repair that stuff. And then, once he's done repairing that, he can do a little something like that and that. You can go back up into here, and then we can uh, see if we can't get ourselves something else good. With our 189 signs that we still have, even after not having any science modules up and running. We could get Tactical Hut 2. We could get Lure 1, which I'm tempted to get. But I'll, I think I'll do that on my next run if I do another one. Um, for now, Tactical Hut 2. Has to be that. And uh, with that being opened up. Let's go over here, maybe open up this door. Yeah, I like the sound of that. Only three more just to open up another room. That sounds excellent to me. And we find that, okay. We find five dust, okay. That's going into the lighting up a room bank foundation right now, and I should probably start sending them up here in case Yep, as I thought, most of the enemies coming down there once again, but with the exception of only one? 
Ooh, that's a couple of three kamikazes. Ooh. Luckily, they just slowly make their way through there. Okay. I should probably put that one guy in that one room, but that's okay. Nothing's really hurting us that badly right now. In fact, we are pretty stacked at the moment, I would have to say. And we are doing mighty fine right now. And, uh, yeah. We're just gonna have Gork sitting up there. You can go back in there. Should I invest in science? We haven't encountered the shopkeeper yet, so there's not even really a point of putting one of those modules down. So, you know what? We will go with science. For the time being. I'm not sure how long I'll do that for, but for the time being, that seems like a smart thing to do. And now this guy, this is the scary part, because now this guy's going to have to be my person that runs around. He's actually probably almost just as fast as everyone else, if not. Uh, that one lady is a bit faster, but only by a little bit. So we should really just keep exploring down here. And we find... I feel like as if that's going to connect two kamikazes and a golem. Okay, you're going to make your way back up there. And we'll see if any more enemy waves spawn. Is it really just that? Okay. Still, two kamikazes and a golem. Nothing to sneeze at, but uh, the kamikazes should, in theory, just walk straight through here and maybe go for the center area, but they won't make it through here. It'll just take them a long while to make their way up here. And luckily, it seems as though I haven't encountered any floors that have those rumored new enemies that uh, just build up in a single room. You can go back to there, there, and there. And we will continue to research while we do more exploring, like over here. And just out of curiosity, let's actually see what we could, in theory, get if we have enough rooms and science to do so. We could get Science Creator 4, Auto Dock Shards 4, most likely Auto Dock Shards 4, because 24 HP regen in the same room. When right now it's at 19.5, yeah, that's a significant upgrade. Science Creator 4 can wait for a while. So now we'll open up that door. Surprisingly enough, that does not connect. And we find another dust factory. How do I feel about that? And we actually didn't... Okay, I'm gonna... I may as well open up this one. No harm in doing it. Because I wasn't going to use that room most likely anyways, and we just lose the stuff in there. Which, in all honesty, I do not mind, and we kind of need the dust as well. So let's open up this door, and it's not a dead end, but it will be a dead end in just a moment. So I'm going to have to start exploring in other directions, unfortunately. Um, okay, so Maxicane, you can make your way up there. Everyone else can make your way over here. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Uh, huh. Okay. You need to make your way back into here and take care of that guy. And then we need everyone to make their way down here to take care of all the enemy waves coming at us. That seems like a smart idea. Because there's a lot of enemy waves, and we do have enough dust to lay up another room, thankfully. So I will most definitely be doing that. Right, everyone else can make their way up here for the time being. I don't mind leaving that unlit for the time being. What's more important to me is keeping this as well protected as possible. So for the time being, place down one tier gas, place down one auto dock shards. And then two more claymores. Yep, that seems like the way to go with that. You can make your way up back up there. And we will have to continue on in this direction. But first of all, we will research.
on the artifact for auto dock shards 4 yes auto dock shards 4 and before I open up that door again I apologize for all this running around we will see what we could get if we have enough doors because I don't think having enough science is going to be a problem it's just how many more doors do we have left land module 2 that is going to be the obvious pickup for us so we will go over here open up this door to find hopefully nothing too too bad what I'm hoping is to find a room with a lot of minor module slots that I can invest in um you know what I definitely oh but oh, uh oh alert okay that's probably that one enemy that they were talking about before okay so I'm gonna have to deal with everything as quickly as possible everything else needs to die like right away oh god so kill all those things kill 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 and we need to make our way down here to find what is this thing and what does it look oh god it looks really gross, but is there another alert down here? And I actually didn't open up the last door down there. I feel like such a dingus. Is that it? There. I guess that's it. Yeah, I guess that's it. I didn't see it say that the or hear the noise at least for the wave ending, but I guess that was it. That's so strange, because I could have swore that there would have been more than that. Okay, but we're going to place another one of those, these, and a couple more of these. So now we, we've seen that enemy. Pretty interesting design. And I'm going to actually open up this door now, instead of ignoring it. And pretty soon, I think after, no, two more doors and we will have auto dock shards four. Which feels pretty good to have. Um, before I do anything else, let's just light up that room so we don't have to worry about it at all. And we'll make our way down here to find the dead end, which leads to a room full of nothing. Kind of what I expected. And four waves incoming. Not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. Okay, everything is doing their work. Okay, okay. I probably su should switch the order in which uh, enemies, or not enemies, my heroes are researching things because right now it's taking me Hickenshaw way too long to make it to the fight. So, for the time being, I think what I should do is put Hickenshaw over here. He can go here or there, and then he can go up here. Or not he, she can go up there. It looks. I apologize. It does kind of look like a masculine build that that person has. We'll open up this door and find another room of interest. Uh, two dust. You know. Uh, okay, that is a kamikaze with a majority of more of enemies coming at us from that direction so I'm gonna have that one guy in here for the time being until I can take care of that I think that's it for enemies in there and we only need two more dust to light up another room which in theory sh yeah there's our two dust to light up that and what do I want to get with this dust or I want to get another module I kind of want to get the shop, but if we don't find a merchant, that's kind of useless in all honesty. Which I'd hate to say that, but it is kind of the truth. Okay, you're going to go back up there, there, there. You're going to start looking at the artifact again to see what we could get. Right, we could get land module too. Let's start getting that, and we'll make our way over here to see what there is. 
hopefully we have enough rooms and it's something good. So what could we be getting? We could be getting Tactical HUD 3 or Tesla Module 2. We were already investing in Claymores, in fact we're basically fully invested in Claymores, so I think we should just stick around with that. Tear Gas 2 seems like a valuable pickup for us at the moment, so... Oh, I started researching it down there. Ah, uh, that's... I'm an idiot for that, but that's okay. I can easily fix that mistake, because even if that goes down now, we can always, uh... Research it at a later floor, most likely. If we can't, then that's my bad entirely, but... I don't think that's the end of the world for us, and I should... I keep forgetting. I should really be leveling people up. Uh, they don't get any new abilities, but they have a lot more stats again. Crazy defense and other good things going for them. And, oh, we have another alert in that room. Luckily, it stays on there, which I'm a huge fan of, and that's going to go down. Unfortunately, but um, let's start making our way through here. Okay. Uh, may as well kill those things. And let's kill that thing before it gets too much stronger. Okay. That seemed like pretty good play on my part. I think at least. I would like to think. And uh, there were more enemies, right? Yeah, some golems. But that's it for the wave there. Okay. That felt pretty good. You can go back in there, there, there. And that definitely went down, right? Yep, that definitely went down. Oh well, another two rooms before we're finished researching that. And then we can move on with our lives. We have auto talk shards 4 now, which is going to help us out so much, and as a dead end, I was really hoping that wasn't going to be the case. Uh, we have five waves incoming. Okay, that is actually a lot of enemy waves. Like, a lot of enemy waves. Okay, that person made it here before... Uh, Ken Masakui made it over there, which is kind of slightly worrisome. Okay, one more dust, one more! That's all I'm asking for is one more dust! There we go, okay. That makes me feel a little bit more comfortable with our current situation. I'm gonna place down, ah, oh, what the heck, three claymores, can't hurt in there. Still have a lot of industry, a lot of uh, science. Yeah, okay. I'm digging how this is going so far. And you will make your way back up there. And my voice is starting to crack because I haven't had anything to drink in the longest time. Which I know sounds like a terrible excuse, but that really is the case. I just haven't had anything to drink in I don't know how long. Find more enemies, land module 2 unlocked, that feels pretty good. Everyone else needs to make their way down here. Oh, no, you can stay here. You need to make your way down there. We'll kill all of those things real quick. Like, and make our way into here, and take care of that stuff. Yep, okay. Just another five dust, and we will be in business again. So, one, two, uh, three, four. Four, five. There we go. That's the dust I was looking for. And there's still enemies coming? Yep, still enemies coming. That's the end of the wave. Okay. And you can go over there, and you can make your way up there. We unlocked the land module too. We lost the other artifact, which is unfortunate, but uh, we have Tactical HUD 3 we could research. May as well, I'm not sure how many doors we have left. Probably not that many if I had to guess, but I'll make do. And we will look over in here. That's one door. No enemies in there. Feels pretty good, but if I had to imagine enemy waves spawning over here, of course, as usual. 
and we'll just have to wait for them to come, seeing as how we don't have an alert happening. And I'll take this moment to take a quick bite to eat. I really should have had something to drink with me. Okay, so we could be using a little bit more. Oh, no, you should be going all the way up here. You can make it right into here. We need another two rooms before we have the crystal activated. Let's open up this door. And we actually have another three rooms after this at the very least. Surprisingly enough. Um. How do I want to do this? You and you need to make your way down there. I might send you in here for the time being. Iron shield found. Not great. Oh, and we have an alert actually. Hmm. So we'll just deal with this real quick. Okay. Everyone else needs to make their way down into here. Oh. Open up this. That guy's not too scary. And that was the only alert, correct? It appears to be the case. We have a lot of items I wish I could sell for things, but... That won't be the case for us at the moment, unfortunately. Uh, you can make your way back up there, there. You're fine where you are. And where else do I need to be? I can stay the way it is. We'll make our way over here. We need 10 dust to light up another room. That doesn't feel great. Tactical HUD found, uh, let's see if that's something we want to go with. Five waves, Ooh, okay, that is a lot of enemy waves. Nothing that we can't handle, but it is a lot of enemy waves. They sure are taking their time getting up here as well. Yeah, smaller guys are just like basically instantly evaporating when they enter our room. And now that we have the land module up, I'm not nearly as fearful of kamikazes. It's only my heroes I have to worry about for the kamikazes now if it were to explode. And there is the dog barking again. We got five dust from that, and holy cow, that dog is loud right now. Uh, let's make our way over here. And do I dare use the cryo capsule? Um, we'll see if I have a lot of excess, uh, what's the word I'm even looking for? We'll see if we have a lot of excess industry by the end of the floor. If not, then I won't concern myself with it. But at this rate, I think we will have a fair amount. Um, okay. You can make your way into there. We don't have any alerts, so everyone else can make their way into here. And that should cover all my bases. I was worried that it was just, that the alert thing was going to be something that I would somehow forget about, and it would just become this giant thing that I would not be able to handle at all. But luckily, that doesn't seem to be the case. So far, we need three, two, two more dust. Come on. Two more dust. There we go. Okay, that's what I was looking for. There we go. And everyone else can go back to their regular rolls again. This is probably going to be a longer episode again. And, uh, okay. Um, yeah. But we have to be getting pretty close to the end here. Oh, I should really research something quickly again. And, um, I guess just size creator. Yeah, that's about the 
most useful thing that I can get. I'm going to try and power through this as quickly as possible. And what do we find over here? A dead end. So this is most likely the last room. So that was probably just a waste of uh, nano bros. Nano bros, nano bros. You can make your way back into here. Ooh, there's actually a couple of those really fast guys in there. Hmm. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do real quick. I'm gonna set up one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, one, two. And that's what I'm gonna do. And hopefully those will be built for too long. And, okay, that guy is dead, excellent. We'll just need to repair some things after this, but that's not a big deal. We can handle that. We need two more dust to light up another room, but we are one dust shy of that. I kind of figured that, but I, I really didn't want that to be a thing. Okay, so this will probably be our last room, and we're two rooms shy of... Science Creator 4, which, you know, is disappointing, but, oh, never mind, we actually have a lot more to go with some kamikazes and some other good stuff going. Okay. Luckily for us, it's, uh, no enemy waves spawned other than the one that we found. So we'll just take care of those guys real quick. Maybe we'll get one dust from the kamikaze if we're lucky. Yeah, there we go. One dust from him. It's a little bit more reassuring. You can go back up there, there, no, you go up there and you go over here and we'll have to keep exploring. I did not think we would have another three runes. I may have to take a, oh, I really should have paused there. Oh, well. And we actually have even more runes. Holy crap. Okay, you're going to make your way back into there. Actually, only... Those waves spawned again. Wow. That's kind of crazy. Um, I almost might take a quick pause here. I might. I might, 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 might. Uh, okay, deal with him. Okay, excellent. There, there, and up there. I'm probably missing out on a lot of dust down here, if I had to imagine. Surprisingly enough, not. Okay. Let's make our way over here. Uh, did I start researching? I haven't researched anything else yet. Okay. It's a good thing I double checked that. Let's open up this real quick and let's get ourselves some Tactical HUD 4 going. Excellent, excellent. I, we're gonna have a lot of research done on this floor. A lot more than I thought we would have. And I'm actually gonna take a quick pause here so I will be right back. And I am back. Holy crap, that was a long wait. Much longer than I meant to make it, but uh, I am back. Back again. Um, all of them seem to be spawning down there. Okay, so I'm going to send those guys over there. See what we get from this, and we get a pea shooter. Pea shooter, pea shooter. I'll have to see how good that is. Doesn't seem to be good, but um, yeah, it doesn't seem to be that great. Okay. But once again, we're in a position where we're almost too strong for what we're facing at the moment, which you no know, is par for the course for too easy mode. But so I didn't think that we would be having this much uh, ease with this. And that should be it, yep, okay. Unfortunately, we are three deaths short of another room being lit up, but you know, that's basically the story of my run so far. We have another two doors we can open. So that'll be just enough to finish what 
I'm researching, which I can't remember what it was already, and I only took maybe a half an hour break, if that. And we have everything spawning down over here again. You know what? I am absolutely fine with that. I just kind of really wish I could find a merchant, but I know hoping for that at this point is a little bit hopeful. And we'll just wait for things to come into here, because we should be able to handle them with pretty much no problem whatsoever. We have enough to light up another room. Let's light up this one. Still more enemies coming, eh? Here come Kazi. And there we go. That is everything for there. And we will send everyone to their positions. And I would not be surprised in the slightest if this was our last room. We'll see, though. It might not be. <laughs> but... If we had more doors after 36 doors on the 6th floor, that would be kind of crazy. And you know what? I guess I'll eat my words. But we did find our exit. I'm going to open up one more room anyways, and we have opened up the last door. We find 6 signs. What else do we find? A bunch of enemies down over here. That's fine. Everyone can make their way over here. And clear out those enemies. Oh, and I really should make that one guy make his way over here. Two more deaths would be amazing. How's that one guy doing? Yeah, he's making his way over there. I'm gonna start powering down uh, these rooms over here in preparation for. Uh, we are okay down there, right? Yeah, we are more than okay. Okay. So I'm gonna start laying up some more of these rooms. Okay, so I have right now just enough for that. How do I want to do this? I don't want to level anyone up for the rest of this floor. I don't think that's something I would want to be doing. Surprisingly enough, no merchants, but I guess we have had merchants on almost every single floor for the last long while. Which is very fortunate for us. Very, very fortunate for us. And I think Lady Jewelry Tulak will be our carrier again. If I had to imagine. Because she has 35 speed, 70 defense, and over 1,000 health. Yeah, I think that fits the prerequisites for someone to carry the crystal. Um, so you can make your way into here, and let's make our way out of this floor after a very long episode. And we'll see how we do. Three waves incoming. Nothing I'm too concerned with, though. And, yeah, we're making good progress. And everyone else can make their way into here. All she carries that into there. And, okay. You guys can make your way into here. Into here. And that is a successful floor six. Thank you so much for joining me, everyone. If you made it to this point in the video, feel free to support in the form of a like. It helps me out a lot. It shows me that you want to continue watching this series. And if you want to see more content like this, you can always subscribe to my channel to be notified whenever I upload any new content, whether it be of this or of any other kind. And until next time, as always, everyone, have a good one, and I will see you next time.